So it's very important that we have light. No matter what we do, whether it's work, play, camping, self-defense, survival, all that good stuff, we need light. It's something that is just, you know, in, in, inherent to our nature. We don't like darkness. Uh, we want to see and understand what's going on in our environment around us. So uh, it's something that you should look at. Sometimes it's commonly overlooked uh, when it comes to bug out bags, when it comes to camping, even just having around the house uh, flashlights and whatnot in the event of power outages, all that good stuff. So uh, lights, if you look at uh, places like Amazon, you'll get lost. You'll get lost in just the flood of different types of lights that you can get. And it's really dependent on what you need and what you're wanting to do with that light. This particular light I'm going to talk about in this video, this isn't really a weapon light. Uh, you could use it as a weapon light um, in a pinch. A little bit of duct tape and ingenuity, and yeah, you could throw this on something. But this light is more just kind of a utility light. And I have a few of these, not this specific brand, but I do have some standalone lights that I use. Uh, and I really think it's really important to have these types of deals. So this light, this is the uh, Nebu or Nebo Cricut LED flashlight. So this is an adjustable flashlight. Uh, and here, I'll just kind of show this to you here. I pulled this up on the website from Amazon. Uh, it seems like about 25 bucks to 30 bucks is what you'll find these at. So really inexpensive. 250 lumen, it has three uh, settings. So it has a 250 lumen uh, spotlight, 240 lumen floodlight, and a 15 lumen red light, which I think is really cool. Uh, just to kind of show this does swivel right here. So I can swivel this out and it becomes a standard light. Or if I want something like a work light or uh, use for a different application, hang this on my pack or hang this somewhere and have it like that, then yeah, I can do so. This right here, this is a magnet. So that way I could attach it to a magnet to a metal surface if I need to. That's kind of a cool deal. It does have a clip, does have a rubberized grip. So that's a good deal. Uh, LED. And here is the spot or the, uh, the spotlight rather the 250 lumen spotlight. And what I'm going to do, there is the floodlight and then another click that gives the red light, which I really like the red light. Uh, being in the military, we use these red lights a lot, uh, during nighttime training, nighttime operations. It's a good way that you can see what you're doing, especially close up. If you're doing close up tasks, if you're reading something, if you're working on something and you don't want to give a huge light signature off, or if you don't want to ruin your night vision, you can use the red light. Uh, the overall quality of this is pretty good. You can, it does have, you can hear the different positions. So I can go to any position that I want. I don't have to go all the way angled or straight. So that's really good. The clicks are nice and sure. Very good quality. Uh, the Nebo brand, I see them a lot in like Walmart and, and whatnot. And some of their stuff is pretty chintzy. But this thing is actually pretty decent and well made. Uh, the housing is well protected. Good quality housing. So I don't foresee it coming apart anytime soon. I've dropped this a few times. There's some scratch marks here and right here. Just times that I've dropped it and whatnot. Carried it in packs. The... Uh, clip right here is a swivel and it's pretty well fixed on there you can take it off if you want but it's not going to fall off on its own which is good uh, rubberized material seems to be good to go for getting a good grip on the flashlight if your hands are wet or cold and then the magnetic part here which is kind of cool uh, the uses for this thing uh, i like to go out sometimes into the woods at night and just enjoy the quietness and whatnot and if i want to look around and see something then this works great. This is something that just easily could fit in a pocket of a jacket or in a pack or whatnot. And this makes a good camping light as well. So if I want something inside of a tent, I can easily turn it on, cycle it through, and there's my spotlight. Or my uh, floodlight, rather. So I can use the floodlight to great effect, or if I want to keep it nice and dark but still see what's going on, then I can use the red. So overall, good to go. I like this. It's inexpensive. Again, about 25 30 bucks. 
that's a good deal on a flashlight. 250 lumens, it's not the brightest, but it does actually have a good throw. Uh, it's daytime right now as I'm doing the video, so I can't really demonstrate the throw, but it's a good, for the spotlight, it does have a good throw. It does pretty well in a forested area for just being 250 lumens. I know the rage is to get the 1,000, 1,500 lumen or whatever lights that they have now, but uh, this works perfectly good. Uh, I haven't messed too much with the batteries yet, and it's just one thing. I'll just kind of show you here. This can screw off right here. And then there's a pack that comes out and it has, you can see these are still the same batteries of the Nebu marked batteries that came with this light. I haven't changed anything yet. So uh, good to go there. And I've had this light for a little while now. So that's pretty good. Usually what happens when you get lights like this, you get a set of batteries that work good for like 30 minutes or something. And then you got to replace it. So battery replacements pretty easily done. No issues there. So overall, great little light. I like it, good quality. And uh, you'll probably see these in wide. I haven't seen the Nebu brand so much in Walmart these days, not at my local Walmart, but I think at some of the bigger super Walmarts in the state, they still have these that might have a little bit bigger outdoors area. So check it out. If you see these, they're pretty inexpensive. You can order online. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, just wanted to go over that real quick. Just make sure to give your thoughts below on whether it's a good light, bad light, in your opinion, all that good stuff if you have your own. And I hope everybody's staying safe out there.